Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate video and today we are talking about DLC quests. Some of you may have explored these already, some of you maybe not, but if you head to the DLC option on the main menu or speak to your house cat and select the downloadable content option from there, you can then check out everything that's available. And since Generations, the game that came before Ultimate, already had a ton of quests, there's already a wide variety of things to choose from. There's plenty of awesome collaboration gear, quests to fight cool monsters, and even quests to help you farm charms, but the list is pretty extensive. So I thought I'd go over some of the most noteworthy quests that you should consider doing if you want to snag yourself some cool gear, some weapons, or a ton of charms. So if you do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions, and also let me know if you've made any of this gear yourself. Now, very quickly, just before we dive in, as mentioned, the list of quests is pretty vast and this video isn't going to go over all of them, but if you do want to check out everything that's available and what you can make from it, then I left a link to a website called Kiranico down below. You can check out the quest list and filter by DL or download quests and it'll give you the full breakdown. But anyway, that aside, number one and arguably the most important quest you are without question going to want to do is this one, a G rank quest called Urgent coal miners needed. The quest itself has you gathering 10 pieces of coal, but that's not what we're interested in. In fact, that's not something you will ever be doing, unless of course you just want to complete the quest. What's important about this quest is the subquest, Hunt a Brachidius. See, this quest is by far the best way, and since in Generations Ultimate, charms are RNG, like decorations in World, then having a quest where you can reliably farm them in vast quantities is pretty handy. You simply load into the quest, defeat the Bracky, and then you go to your menu and you end via subquest. And then upon looking at your rewards post quest, you'll have a ton of charms. You then go back, post the quest again, and repeat this to your heart's content. So if you're getting towards end game and you're missing a nice charm to make your build even better, this is the quest for you. Moving on from there to number two, Technically speaking, I'm cheating a bit here, since this isn't one quest, it's a collection of quests, but I'm grouping them because they all fit into one category, The Legend of Zelda. GU has a ton of cool collaboration sets, and as a huge Zelda fan, these quests are high on my priority list. Admittedly, not all of the gear itself has the best skills or is massively viable, but since transmog is a thing, then you can take this gear and use its appearance if you so wish. There are five quests to chase down in total. Firstly, under high rank, you have the Legend of Zelda Power, which will give you the parts needed to make the Ancient Bow. The quest The Three Virtues will give you the parts needed to make the traditional hero suit, the green tunic, although since you can colour it, you can also make that a red, blue, purple, black, whatever colour you want tunic. And you also have the quest A Hero's Return, this is a Prowler quest, and this will give you the parts to craft the Toon Link outfit for your Palico. Then if you hop over to the G rank event quests, you have the Legend of Zelda Courage, which will give you the parts needed to make the Breath of the Wild blue tunic. And another Palico quest, The Legend of Zelda Wisdom, this time give you the materials needed to craft the Korok Palico gear. So, if you're a Zelda fan, those are the quests for you. Moving on from there to number 3, this one is for the Fire Emblem fans. The high rank quest, Fire Emblem Warding Despair, will give you the parts needed to craft the Marth armor set and the accompanying Sword and Shield. Again, maybe only a high rank set, but useful for Transmog. After that, at number 4, this one is for the Metroid fans. The quest, Metroid Special Mission, that's another high rank quest by the way. That'll give you the parts to craft some sweet Metroid themed gear. There's the full Samus armor suit, as well as the Zero Samus suit, and there's also the arm cannon bowgun on top, so lots of cool stuff to make there. Then in number 5 you have the quest Strider Frozen Mission, again another high rank quest, and this one will allow you to craft the Strider Hero armor set and weapon. The skills on the set aren't actually too bad, but being high rank again your focus will largely more so be using it for transmog. And speaking of Transmorg, another great contender in at number 6, there's two quests here, and this one is for the Jump Pirate Gear. The high rank quest Jump the Desert Crown will give you the parts needed to craft the Pirate Bow, meanwhile the quest Jump Boiling Magma will give you the parts needed to craft the Pirate Armor, which looks super awesome by the way, and a load more of the Jump Pirate themed weapons. There's a great sword, a charge blade, a switch axe, gun lance and more. So, if you want to walk around like a pirate, then this one might be for you. And then finally, in number 7, a few more honourable Palico mentions. The quest DMC the Celtus Queen's Cry will net you the materials to craft the Dante Palico gear. The quest Mega Man Yellow Devil will give you the parts needed to craft the Mega Man Palico gear. And the quest Star Fox Battle for Arctic Ridge will allow you to craft the Fox McCloud Palico gear. So again, super awesome stuff. Now, there are plenty more quests to go through and some more anime themed collaborations, but those are some of the top quests worth doing if you want some of the cool collaboration gear, potentially as transmog fuel, or you just want a ton of charms. 
Let me know down below if there's any particular armor sets that you're chasing, but otherwise be sure to keep it locked for much more Monster Hunter content. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the Endgame store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.